I would go down with my mother for at vacation times, Christmas and Easter. I would go to regular public school. Um, and then I would do this bit at the Jewish National Theater. Uh, and we would go down and we'd walk from the train and we would walk past the Cafe Royale and there was an open window and we'd wave, at which point usually about six men or so were there for coffee and we'd all just walk to the theater uh, to start rehearsals at about noontime. Since I did this very often at New Year's, Christmas, New Year's, um, I did something with Mr. Sheinfeld, if you remember, no first name, where I was the New Year. I was what, eight, nine, and I had this little blue pale blue satin costume with a banner across it with the new year on it, 1940, 1941, whatever. And he was Father Time. And he was in a big robe and a white beard and a scythe. And we did this two-part recitation. Can't remember a single word of it now. But we did a two-part recitation. So of course, we had to rehearse all of it. Um, usually in Yiddish. So how do you get the script? Another interesting story. There was a man there named Yankov Kalach. I think in English it's called Jacob Kalich or something. He was Molly Pekin's husband, Yankov Kahler. And he had a Jewish typewriter. And he would write out my things for me. He was a doll. He was the sweetest, nicest man on the planet. And he wrote out whatever I needed to have. He was there. She had to rehearse. But she didn't have anything to do with the rest of the world. And she hated kids. So. And that was my, that's my Molly Pekin story. But he was an absolute doll. And that's how I got my script to go home and learn and, and whatever. Because he would write it out and I would do it. 